Trizix, how to invent, innovate, and solve impossible technical problems systematically. The theory and practice of trees, theory of inventive problem solving. Lesson one, an introduction to trees and Trizix. The basic trees technician has five lessons. Introduction to trees and Trizix, standard structured problem solving and cause effect chain analysis, functional modeling and trimming, contradictions, scientific effects, and function-focused search, and trends of evolution. The advanced trees expert has six lessons. Subfield modeling and the 76 inventive standards, ideality, S-curve analysis, nine windows, the anti-system, the DTC operator, and subversion analysis, ARES, root cause analysis using trees tools, and how to use Trizix Roadmap and Template. Classes may be taken in any order, but we strongly recommend following the sequence 1 through 11. We do not rely on Trees software. We use the book Trizix as a reference. Software does not think. People think. In our experience, we believe users achieve a better understanding of trees without software. We use the book Trizix as our reference. It lists all necessary trees data in the appendices. When needed, we research the web for scientific effects. Trizix is available as a print copy on Amazon.com, or it can be purchased and downloaded immediately and directly to your computer as a Kindle eBook, which is also available at Amazon.com. Lesson 1. Let's look at the Lesson 1 learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain why there is a need for creative problem solving, explain what is meant by psychological inertia, understand Altschuler's key findings from the study of patents, explain the difference between an analytical tool and a classical tree solutions tool, explain how the classical tree solution tools work, understand what trees is for and what it is not for, understand the historical issues that have impacted trees, explain why we start applying standard structured problem solving, and understand the trees roadmap and how it organizes trees into a structured process by identifying the problem as one of four problem types. Lesson one agenda is an introduction to trees, the Trizix roadmap, check learning objectives, and certification questions. We now start our introduction to trees. The introduction topics are the need for creative problem solving, psychological inertia, what is trees, a brief history, key findings from study of patents, including classical trees tools, analytical trees tools, what trees is for, and trees issues. Why are we teaching this class? Albert Einstein said, the thinking that got you into a particular problem will not get you out of it. Trees teaches us how to think differently. We typically have no training on how to think outside the box, yet it is a key requirement for success in their career. For most students, this will be the first time they have received training on how to think outside the box. Creative problem solving is needed because competitive demands require quicker, more effective, and innovative problem solving. Creative thinking is a critical skill required by employees, engineers, scientists, and inventors, yet typically we receive no training in how to think creatively. We generally rely on our own talents to provide random inspiration or use trial and error, guessing. Many Fortune 500 companies have recognized the need to provide training for creative thinking skills and are actively pursuing trees or have significant trees training programs. You can see the names of many of these companies on this slide. Creative thinking is normally restricted by the limits of personal knowledge and creative talent. It can take many ideas and a long time, sometimes years, to identify a good innovative idea or solution. Creative thinking is constrained by what is known as psychological inertia. Now let's look at psychological inertia. Psychological inertia, also known as mental inertia, occurs when we make assumptions about the problem, resources, or solution. Psychological inertia is the resistance to free creative thinking due to unconsciously imposed barriers. We subconsciously implement our own restrictions, impose rules, etc. 
Psychological inertia is often driven by having too much experience. The more experience we have, the more likely we are to use it, the more entrenched our thinking and methods become. This freezes our thinking in place. Often for long-standing problems, the problem solver is one who is unfamiliar with the history or experience of a problem and therefore sees it with a fresh pair of eyes. They are not encumbered by knowledge or psychological inertia. Examples of psychological inertia are the speed of sound is 343 meters per second. At what speed must a dog run to not hear the sound of a frying pan that is tied to its tail? An iron pipe is placed five feet high horizontally on a plastic board that has a slope of 45 degrees. Why does it not roll to the bottom of the slope? Let's look at another example. There are three turtles walking in a straight line. Turtle 1 says, there are two turtles behind me. Turtle 2 says, there is one turtle in front of me and one turtle behind me. Turtle 3 says, there are two turtles in front of me and two turtles behind me. Why is this? Now let's look at the solutions to these examples. In example 1, the speed of the dog should be zero, stopped. In example 2, the pipe does not roll because it has a square cross section and is not round. The language you use is often the carrier of psychological inertia. We assume pipes are round. In example 3, turtle number 3 is lying. Young children often can solve number 3 very quickly. This chart shows that psychological inertia is related to our age. Research says that we are at our most creative, most free from psychological inertia, at around the age of 12 to 14. The older and more experienced we get, the less creative we become. TREES is designed to combat psychological inertia. What is TREES? Pronounced TREES but also TRIZ as in FIZ by some Russians. TREES is a Russian four-letter acronym which in English stands for the Theory of Inventive Problem Solving or TIPS. TREES is a powerful tool for creative thinking that was developed over the last 60 years in the former Soviet Union. TREES was developed to provide the innovator and problem solver with reliable and repeatable results that do not depend on personal creative ability or trial and error. TREES uses proven knowledge obtained by studying large numbers of patents that has been applied repeatedly throughout mankind's history. TREES was created from the study of the best practices of successful inventors and problem solvers from across many fields of human innovation. TRISX is a structured methodology for the direct use of TRIS creative thinking tools. The TRISX roadmap directs the user in how to use TRIS tools systematically, solve complex technical problems, and assist in development of new products and processes, guiding technological innovation. TRIS should really be called the theory of solving inventive problems in English. TRIS defines an inventive problem as a contradiction. Classical trees is the theory of solving contradictions. Also, the word theory has two meanings in English. The first one is the speculation or guessing. For example, I have a theory as to why the cheese is gone. The second is an exposition of the principles of a subject. For example, the theory of relativity. Theory in relation to trees has the second meaning. It is based on the analysis of data and science, not conjecture. A brief history of trees. Trees first began to be developed in the former Soviet Union in the late 1940s. The creator of trees, Genrich S. Altschuler, 1926 to 1998, was a talented inventor. He received his first patent at the age of 14. While working in the patent department of the Soviet Navy, he decided to create a repeatable way of innovating based on science instead of creative guesswork. After studying over 200,000 international patents, he identified 40,000 patents that constituted inventive achievements. A number of key findings were obtained from the analysis of those patents which led to the creation of the first TREES tools. In 1950, Altschuler wrote a letter to Soviet leader Stalin with a critique of the Soviet system of inventiveness, which was not based on science or logical analysis. 
As a result of his criticism, he was sent to the Vorkuta labor camp as a political prisoner. He was released in 1954, shortly after Stalin's death. Ares, the algorithm for solving inventive problems, a step-by-step -step process to solve contradictions that is made up of several trees' tools, was first introduced in 1963, and the final version was created and approved by Altschuler and was published in 1985. It is considered by many to be his masterpiece. The first school of trees was established in 1969, and by the end of the 1980s, over 500 were established across the USSR. The Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, and trees began to spread to the West. Let's look at the key findings from the study of patents. 200,000 patents were initially analyzed. Those were synthesized down into only 40,000 innovative patents, which were analyzed to reveal the key discoveries. Key discoveries. Patent solutions could be identified into five levels. Inventive or breakthrough solutions, classes level two and up, involved solving a contradiction. Same few principles, general concepts, were being used for making breakthroughs. Patterns of technical evolution were repeated across industries and sciences. Technology trends to evolve a technical system to the next generation. Innovations frequently use scientific effects outside the field in which the original problem was found. Classical trees is a family of tools for thinking based on statistical analysis of millions of patents that enable problem solvers, innovators, and inventors to identify potential solution paths for technical problems based on how others have solved similar problems before. To date, the followers of Outchler have analyzed or investigated over 3 million patents. The key findings are the same. The key discoveries were the basis for the creation of the classical trees tools. The 40 inventive principles. Altschuler noticed breakthrough solutions solved what he called a technical contradiction, and that only 40 principles, general concepts, were needed to solve any technical contradiction, not any engineering problem. Four separation principles, satisfaction, and bypass. Altschuler later noticed that all technical contradictions solved an inherent physical contradiction of the system. A physical contradiction can only be solved in three ways, separation, satisfaction, and bypass. We could solve our technical contradiction using the 40 principles, or try the associated underlying physical contradictions using these tools. The 76 Standard Inventive Solutions Altschuler determined that a technical contradiction can be solved by improving an interaction, Suffield model. The 76 Inventive Standards is a list of how to improve an interaction compiled from principles, scientific effects, trends, and common sense. He chose to use this method over the 40 principles in 1985. The Database of Scientific Effects Altschuler and his colleagues compiled a list of scientific effects phenomena that could be referenced to find a scientific effect outside of their own field of knowledge. The 8 plus 1 Trends of Evolution Altschuler noticed technical systems evolve in specific patterns or trends over time and that a significant evolutionary step solved a contradiction. This slide shows how the flow of classical tree solution tools basically work. Start by defining the specific problem. Then reformulate the problem into a model of the problem in the form of one of the tree's tools. The solution suggests how similar problems were solved in other industries, science, and technologies. We then use a model of the solution in the form of a tree solution and, by analogy, find specific solutions for a current problem. Let's look at how tree solution tools work. In this diagram, which string should the mouse pull to fetch the cheese? A, B, or C? Instead of using trial and error, the simplest way to solve this problem is to start from the cheese and to follow the string back to identify string A, B, or C. By identifying the solution first, we can more easily solve the problem. Individual classical tree solution tools work the same way. We find out what the solution looks like based on how others have solved a similar problem before, and then we apply that model of the solution analogously to create our own specific breakthrough solution. If you wish to learn more about trees and trisics and to get trees certified, download or order a print copy of the book Trisics and start your training by ordering the online lessons 1 through 11.